Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and today I'm going to be showing you finally an updated deck profile of my Goki deck for July of 2023, and wow, this deck has not been updated or even showcased in over a year. It's crazy to think that, but it is true. Um, Goki's really haven't gotten any support. Uh, we got Goki's finishing move, which is an okay card, but really is too situational. So I actually did not include that in this deck, but I was able to actually make this deck a little bit more consistent and did add a few things to it based off the previous ban list. Being able to, now it's semi-limited, Isol is now semi-limited, so you can have two in the deck. So, all right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into finally the deck profile. All right, so first off in this deck, you're gonna need three copies of your Goki Suprex. Suprex is basically the main staple of the deck. What he does is when he is normal summoned, you can special summon a level four or lower Goki monster from uh, your hand. And keep in mind that all the Goki monsters have the same effect that when they're in the graveyard, you can actually add a Goki card from your deck to your hand. So it doesn't have to be a monster, it can be an actual card. So you're gonna be wanting to add Goki rematch. So it's very consistent in that aspect. But sadly, um, this deck hasn't really been updated in some time. So it's still, in my opinion, a really good card. And I will be showing you a combo with uh, the uh, Goki deck, actually, so stay tuned for that. And then we're going to be having three copies of Goki Twist Cobra. Basically, Twist Cobra is basically just in here because he is a Goki target, um, and he has the same effect. He just has an additional effect about being able to gain attack points and stuff when you tribute a monster, um, sadly. He's not all that good, but mainly if you have, like, him and, like, Goki uh, Twist Cobra and Goki Suprex, then you're uh, pretty good to go on that one. And then we've got three copies of Headbat. Headbat, if you control a Goki monster, you can select the Goki monster, discard a Goki card, and special summon this card from your hand. So it's actually a very good extender for the deck. And then we've got just two copy, copy, sorry, copy, copies of Goki Guts, which is the last um, end card in here. And mainly this card's gonna be in here for the um, level one effect. Also, I have Goki's uh, Octo Stretch. Mainly, they're in here for the Isol target and the uh, Phoenix Blade target because they are level one, and um, this is what's going to help go into the combo. So yeah. Then for the one of Goki's, we've got your Goki uh, Goki Rip Scorpio, your Goki Iron Claw, which is kind of like a mini hand trap, gives you an additional 500 attack. And then that's going to be it for the Goki monster. So a good fair amount. Now we're going to be going into the actual tech cards. So. Three Fire Flint Lady, yeah, had to get three Fire Flint Lady. If you control a monster, or if you get if you control no monster, or all you control is a warrior monster, you can special in this card from your hand. This card is amazing because of that. Uh, I love Fire Flint Lady because of that, because it is a great special summon. Um, it's just really good because if you control a warrior monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then you can send this card from the field of the graveyard to special summon a level four low war monster from your hand. And if you do, your opponent cannot target it with card effects this turn. So it's just good because if you control another warrior monster, which is mainly this whole deck, you can special summon it directly from your hand. And then you've got Junk Forward. Obviously, most people play the uh, Inferno, the Infernoble uh, cards or whatever. I like to have Junk Forward because it's just it's a quick, it's a cheap alternative, and it doesn't cost that much. And basically, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's just it's a quick spot summon. And then we have the Code Breaker Zero Dawn. This is in here for the. Um, to set up the field, this is in here for the uh, Berserker and the other one, the Code Breaker combo. You've got Silent Boots and you've got Ancient Cloak. So you're gonna need those in here for the combo. Obviously these are cards that you do not wanna see in your opening hand. And then for the Hand Trap, so when we got one Pancreatops, so obviously you got one Pancreatops. We got three Effect Veilers, cause you're gonna need something to negate. You can replace these with Ash if you want, or a Ghost Ogre, whatever you want. Droll, Dimension Shifter, it doesn't matter. You can replace it with whatever you want. I just have Effect Veiler because I like using that card. And then we have for the spells, we've got two Goku uh, Goki Rematch. Obviously, Goku Rematch lets you special summon two Goki monsters from the graveyard. Very, very, very handy uh, in this deck because that's what you're going to need to be able to special summon. And then on top of that, we've got the Monster Reborn. So Monster Reborn is going to help us too. So you have three ways to be able to special summon. And then three copies of Small World. Small World obviously is in here because it is a target with Pancreatop. Pancreatop is a zero defense, so everything, every Goki monster in the deck pretty much it has zero defense, so that is what you're going to be targeting, and it's a good way to be able to search out for your Suprex to be able to go into the combo. And then we've got your Phoenix Blade, obviously. You've got your Living Fossil. These are your targets. And then one Reinforcement of the Army. One One for One. And then one Call by the Grave. And then lastly, your traps, we've got Shade Brigading and Fog Blade. So obviously these are going to be your targets for the um, Rusty combo. 
and being able to go into multiple monsters and everything, which I will be showing you. So that's going to be it for the main deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. So hilariously, we only play two Goki monsters in the stack, actually. Jet Ogre and Jet, uh, Powered Ogre and Jet Ogre. So basically, Goki the Power Load Ogre is amazing. It's just like a Blackwing Full Armor Master. It's like a Ultimate Falcon, except it is a 2800 attack. But there is a way to actually make this even better because it actually gains a level gains attack equal to the level total level of all like link monsters or total link of like number of all link monsters so if you have multiple ones on the field this guy can become 45 or 5,000 attack that's unaffected and it is not one it is not uh i don't believe it's till the end of turn actually i actually have to read that no it is not until the end of turn so yeah you keep in imagine about 5,000 that is just like that that's insane and just a very very good card overall and then we've got for the unicorn, we've got for the uh, IP Mascarena combo, you're going to have Griffin. We've got Unicorn. We've got Cerberus. So this is going to be your main targets, obviously, for your IP Mascarena. And honestly, you know, something that you are going to need in this deck to be able to go into your plays. And then you've got Crusadia, Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avramax, very good card. Then you've got Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. This is a Korean one, but it's still it's Bow of the Goddess. Then you've got your two Codebreaker cards, Codebreaker Berserker uh, and Codebreaker uh, Swordsman, which helps you search the cards Codebreaker from the deck. And then you've got Rusty Bard each. Obviously in here, good old Rusty Shackleford. You're going to have him in here for the combo. And then two Ice Souls, because that's actually really cool that you can actually two have two Ice Souls now. And this actually works with the deck quite well. And then lastly... For the only two exceed monsters, because you do play some level four, so there may be instances that you actually feel like you'll be able to. You got your time thief and you got your abyss dweller. So this is going to be in here to stop uh, graveyard plays, and this is going to be in here to kind of mess with your opponent a little bit. All right, so that's going to be it for the deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love this deck to pieces, and I'm so glad that we actually have, um, you know, I was able to have the an actual updated deck profile of this deck uh, because this deck is long overdue. I mean this. I, like I said, it hasn't been since literally over a year, and that's a long time to uh, not update a deck, but Goki's don't really have much support, so as a result, you know, this is what you see what is what you get, um, and there's no other way to really make it any better, unless you buy some of the more cards that are a little bit more expensive, but this is more of a budget option, so... All right, so that's going to be it for this deck profile. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching my content, and with that, I'll see you guys next time. Later.